From the day I solved my first coding question on lead code, it took me almost two years to get a job at Amazon and then another one year to get a job at Google. And I got both of these offers off campus. I tried a lot of different things. I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials and I paid for courses on Udemy and other websites. And I learned a lot of things that didn't really help me that much, which made me question myself. Can you become a software engineer way faster? And the answer is 100% yes. So I'll tell you the fastest way to go from zero to industry ready software engineer in six months without any fluff. Also, I'll share three mistakes that beginners make that you probably shouldn't be making. But before that, this video is sponsored by Cryo.2. Cryo.2 is the world's leading work experience based learning platform where you learn by doing industry grade projects in a real development environment. You can choose the full stack or back end development or go for fellowship program in software development, which offers job guarantee. It is also their flagship program. You can use a link in my description to book a free trial and gain work experience on problems given by real tech companies. By the end of this entire course you will have a lot of projects which will make your resume and github really really strong you will also get one-on-one -on -one mentorship from industry leading mentors who work in some of the biggest tech companies in the world the average ctc offered by the fellowship program is 11 lpa and the average dream job ctc is 22 lpa it's a nine month course and you also get the feature of easy emi cryo.do offers a lot of features over other boot camps and video courses it is a really immersive experience and the average salary hike is 89 percent and you can get jobs up to 40 lpa so what are you waiting for click the link in my description and get your free trial. The first thing is to pick a programming language to write code in. I personally started with C++ but is that the best language to start in? No. Is there any other language that I would have started in? Also no. In C++ you have to write a lot of code to get anything done and it is difficult to build simple projects in C++ but writing code in C++ forces you to follow computer science fundamentals like defining a variable or pointers or memory management and a lot of different things which in turn make you a better programmer but because of this it is really verbose that you have to write a lot of code to get anything simple done. Also, C++ isn't the most beginner friendly language and we don't have all that time to spend on a single language. So I would suggest you go with Python. Also, a fun fact, can you guess which language is older? Java or Python? Python is the older one. <laughs> Java is newer compared to Python. Python is a relatively easy language to get started in because it looks and reads a lot like English. And it is really easy to get complex tasks done in relatively small amount of code. And using Python, you can write scripts, you can make full stack web apps, you can do data science and even machine learning. So according to me, it is the best language to get started with. If you don't have a lot of time, you can start solving programming questions and making projects in Python in a really short amount of time. Also, you will anyway be picking up other languages when you start working on your job like I picked up Java, TypeScript, JavaScript and a lot of different languages when I started working. So our main goal right now is to get started and not be stuck learning the language. Okay now that we have a programming language in mind how do I get started? Well this is the part where most beginners make their first major mistake and even I made this mistake. So I started watching tutorial after tutorial and I watched a ton of really long python tutorials and I thought okay I know python now but once I started coding I realized I didn't make a lot of progress. See the problem here was that I was watching other people code and not actually coding myself and the only way to learn something is by doing it like I have seen Virat Kohli play cricket since I was a kid but that doesn't mean I can play like Virat Kohli the same goes for coding you can use this amazing website called learnpython.org where you can start from the basics and you can skip a lot of data science related topics like numpy pandas each topic goes over a basic concept and then you can do some exercises to solidify your learning once you feel comfortable with python it's time to build some simple projects uh, you can use youtube I really like the free code camp channel. They have some of the best programming related content on YouTube and they have a few videos like this 20 beginner Python projects or this really famous 12 beginner Python project where you build some really basic projects and then move on to really complex stuff. And once you have completed these sample projects, you can move on to your own project. Also building your own projects will help you learn about how to use an IDE like VS code, debugging your code, testing your code, hosting your project and deploying the entire thing. Plus you will have a portfolio of projects which you can host on GitHub and which will help you build a really solid resume. Next, you would need to learn data structures and algorithms because most top tech companies currently ask data structures and algorithm questions during interviews. So it is pretty safe to say that data structures and algorithms are really important. So how do you start? Start with learning about time and space complexity. That is just a way to measure your algorithm in terms of speed and the amount of memory it takes. The lower, the better. Next, you would need to learn about all the data structures like arrays, tags, queues, linked lists, heaps, graphs, what they are and how do 
you code there. You can also start solving problems like really simple ones like school level problems on practice.geeksforgeeks.com. Once you are comfortable with school level problems, you can move on to easy level and then medium level. And after that, you can switch to lead code because lead code easy problems aren't that easy. The best way to do it is try to learn about a data structure or an algorithm, let's say binary search through YouTube or geeks for geeks and try to solve as many problems as you can for that algorithm because these problems make you think outside the box and it isn't really intuitive at first but once you start solving a lot of them you'll figure out that there's a pattern to most of the problems also if you aren't able to solve a problem or even if you are able to solve the problem try to go and read the editorial or the discuss section on lead because you will be able to find all the different approaches to that problem and maybe there's a much better approach you can also solve problems based on what companies recently asked them it is community driven i think it is free on geeks for geeks but you might be required to get a paid license on lead code data structures and algorithms i would suggest you pick up a tutorial be it free tutorials on youtube or paid courses whatever helps you get a better understanding of the topic on youtube i really liked abdul bari's course on data structures and algorithms and i have seen a lot of his videos try to solve a few questions every day and you should be good to go also once you start feeling comfortable with data structures and algorithms you should start applying to jobs and this is where people make the second most common mistake they don't apply to jobs or they start applying way too late like you will always feel that there's something missing like there's something left that you have to do and that's a constant feeling and you'll never get over it that's how our brain works so it's better that you start applying as soon as possible and also try to apply to as many roles as possible but before that i would suggest that you make a really good linkedin profile try to fill out all the different sections add a nice profile picture add your resume add your skills and add as many keywords as you can because at the end of the day linkedin is a search engine and recruiters are searching for candidates like i got both of my off campus opportunities through linkedin once you are done with that try to reach out to your seniors and recruiters for job opportunities or reference whatever works you can also apply to companies through their careers portal but the response rate from those portals in my case was really really bad and in my experience reference are the best way to apply to a job and once all of this is done you should be pretty much ready but contrary to popular belief coding is not the easiest thing in the world like i have seen a lot of people who are really smart but they just couldn't find their grip you won't be able to solve every problem and there will be days when nothing makes sense and a lot of people quit this is the third major a mistake that i've seen people making even today i sometimes feel that i'm not good enough to be an engineer and i fall prey to the imposter syndrome but it's all about giving your best every single day and doing just a little bit better than yesterday and if you want to know how i would start if i have to do all of this from scratch again then you should check this video out where i tell you my strategy after all the ups and downs that i have faced